Hi folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out the Skurg H6 Bomber. This just came in the mail today, it's part of the latest wave, so I wanted to take a quick look at it and see what it had to offer. Mainly this is a pirate ship, uh, part of the scum faction, however it can be piloted by the rebel faction, which is interesting. There's actually two dials that come with this game, one rebel, one scum and then you've got uh, different pilots for each. Actually, the Rebel Alliance only has the one pilot. I was surprised to see that. Um, as far as the model itself, I'll just quickly show you that. Um, not too shabby. All right. And as far as the maneuvers go, this is what that looks like. A lot of reds, as you can see. It can go five straight ahead, but at the cost of a red maneuver. It can make a hard turn on three, but also a red maneuver. It can also make a talon roll on three, which is pretty interesting. I was surprised to see such a large ship like a bomber with a two hard turn like that as a white maneuver, but uh, it is what it is. Um, as far as the pilots go, let's take a quick look at that. You've got uh, Captain Nim. This is the rebel pilot that you can uh, have with this. Pilot skill of 8. The stats are 3155. Five, so pretty sturdy ship, just low on the defense, like a Y wing. Once per round, you may prevent a friendly bomb from detonating. Okay. And then it has focus, target lock, and barrel roll. Costs 30 points. You can see the slew of upgrade cards or the upgrades possible down here. It can, it can sport a turret from the looks of it, as well as torpedoes, missiles, bombs, two different bomb slots there, and it has an elite symbol down there. And onto the scum stuff, you've got uh, Captain Nim as well, so he can he's like a dual pilot here. He can be for the scum or for the rebels. Uh, pilot skill 8, same stats. Uh, the ability though is a bit different. You may ignore friendly bombs. When a friendly ship is defending, if the attacker measures range uh, through a friendly bomb token, the defender may add one evade resolve. Pretty interesting. Um, that also costs 30 points. The rebels cost 30 points as well. Soul Sixa here, uh, pilot skill is six. Ability, when dropping a bomb, you may use the one hard turn uh, template instead of the one straight template. That has a cost of uh, 28 points. Lock Revenant, Pilot skill of 3, no named ability here, cost of 26. Still has the elite talent down here though. And then you've got Karthak uh, Pyra, there we go. Cost of uh, 24 points, pilot skill 1, no elite symbol down here. Alright, so yeah, there's just a bunch of these guide cards for those of you that don't know what a talent roll is or how to use bombs. As far as the uh, upgrade cards, let's take a quick look at that. Lightning Reflexes. I'm not going to read them all off to you. If I think I've covered it in a previous video, I'll just skip over it. Lightning Reflexes. It, this is relatively new, so I will cover it. Small ship only, cost of one. Uh, after you execute a white or green maneuver on your dial, you may discard this card to rotate your ship 180 degrees, then receive one stress token after the check pilot stress step. Minefield Mapper. During setup, after the place force is set up, you may discard any number of your equipped bomb upgrade cards. Place all corresponding bomb tokens and the play area beyond range three of enemy ships. So you can set up a minefield or a set of bombs anywhere on the field. That's really cool using this upgrade. And it costs zero points on top of it. It's pretty crazy. A synced turret. Okay, this is a new one for me. Attack of three, range one to two, cost four. Attack target lock. Attack one ship, even a ship outside your firing arc. If the defender is inside your primary firing arc, you may re-roll a number of your attack dice up to your primary weapon value. That's kind of nice. All right. Seismic Torpedo. Um, as an action, discard this card to choose an obstacle at range 1 to 2 inside of your primary firing arc. Each ship at range 1 of the obstacle rolls one attack die and suffers any damage or critical damage rolled. Then remove this obstacle. So it's an obstacle killer. Cruise Missiles. Uh, one attack die range 2 to 3. Attack target lock. Discard this card to perform this attack. You may roll additional attack dice equal to the speed of the maneuver you executed this round to a maximum of four additional dice. Okay, so like if you're in something fast, like a tie advanced, and you go like, I don't know, four or five straight ahead, that's a lot of dice that you could be rolling along with this. Interesting. All right, so there's two cards there. There's Cad Bane, Scum Only. 
Uh, your upgrade bar gains the bomb upgrade icon. Once per round, when an enemy ship rolls attack dice due to a friendly bomb detonating, you may choose any number of focus and blank results. It must reroll those blank results. Cost of two. Bomblet generator. Uh, when you reveal your maneuver, you may drop one bomblet token. This token detonates at the end of the activation phase. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I wonder if there's a reference card for it somewhere in here. If not, then I'll have to look it up later. Okay, I don't see anything. A bomblet token. I wonder if that's what this is. There's a token along with this. Looks new to me. R4E1. You may you can perform actions on your torpedo and bomb upgrade cards even if you are stressed. After you perform an action in this way, you may discard this card to remove one stress token from your ship. All right, Havoc. Skurg H6 bomber only. Title. Your upgrade bar gains the sensor and astromech upgrade icons and loses the crew member upgrade icon. You cannot equip non-unique uh, astromech units cards. Okay, so this, this astromech though is for the uh, scum faction. Cost to zero. And we're back to lightning reflexes again. So all in all, uh, interesting, very interesting uh, expansion. It introduces a lot of new things that you can do with bombs. I mean, it is a bomb ship, so why not it is a bomber, so why not introduce some new mechanics for it? It doesn't look like it would break the game in any way, but I do find some of the new mechanics, like, you know, introducing bombs at the very beginning of the game and putting them out on the field, along with the obstacles, like that, to me, you could really narrow someone's uh, flight path if you, if you manage to place your obstacles in your bombs correctly. So there you go, that is the Skurg H6 Bomber. I haven't played with this ship yet, but hopefully we'll get to that soon. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.